Hey guys, Creative Venus here and today we will learn how to design this beautiful uh, slide where you can showcase the KPIs in the form of pie chart. So this is use, useful only for the pie chart diagrams and the KPIs which you can showcase in the form of pie charts. So and, and let's take a look like how we have created it. So we have applied the morph transition and you can see how beautiful the transition works. The effects are minimal and it's clean beautiful and the complete focus on text and the information so this is what we have created and today we will learn how to design it it's very easy and it's very easy and i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and share this video with your friends and colleagues if you are a student in your school you can share it so let's begin with the tutorial so now let's begin with the tutorial and here you can see we have these six slides each slide has a color scheme then the actual title or the kpi that you want to showcase and the value so we have this budget span cost target risk sale and roi so the first step is to color the background and for the first slide we have already uh, created a background here and you can do it by right clicking on the on the slide and then click on this format background here you need to pick this gray color and you will have this background then now let's insert a circle place it at the center and remove its outline go to line and click on no line now fill this gray color white background one darker five percent so the first gray color under the white now it's not visible so go to the effects option here and in the presets click on this preset offset top left and here you need to select the white color now you need to decrease the transparency to 25 percent also the blurness to 25 and distance as well 25 now you need to control C select this circle control C and then control V now we have these two circles on the second circle again go to shadow presets and now select this preset offset bottom right change the shadow color to this white background one darker 15 percent again decrease the transparency to 25 blurness to 25 and distance again 25 now select both these circles like this go to shape format align center align middle now you can group both these circles by pressing ctrl g or here i have already grouped so that's why it's grayed out now you have to move this circle to the center if it's not and here you can see the guide is visible which will help you to place it at the center like this Now go to insert shapes and pick this hollow circle. Press the shift key on your keyboard and then draw it like this. And place it at the center and you can see all these guides. Now click on this yellow circle and reduce the thickness. I think this much thickness is fine now remove its outline we don't need any outline here and slightly increase its height and width let's keep it 10 points so now it's at the center and now we need to fill a color in it let's so let's fill you know some gray color here but it should be very light okay. 
we need it to be more we need to move this slider a little upward so i think this is fine because we want everything looks clean minimal and beautiful so now it's it's fine now click on this budget spent here move it to the center and click on this button here this icon it says center center your content like this change the font monster at increase the font size like this and place it at the center now select this text go to text options here and pick this color now it looks fine let's keep the font size as 54 here and move it to the center like this so this looks fine also now select this value here again change the font to monster add semi bold increase the font size so it, it it's you know it's below this circle and we need to move it to the front so bring it to front place it at the center like this now select this text go to text options here click on the gradient fill and here you can see there are these four gradient stops we only need two gradient stops on the first gradient stop click on this color then click on this eyedropper tool and pick the first color then select the second gradient stop again click on this color icon click on the eyedropper tool and then select the color and now you can see the color here we have filled it in the text now we need to change the direction here so let's keep it linear only and we can keep it like this diagonally and you can slightly move it to the center so that the text is vis visible and here you can see it looks really beautiful now we need to create a pie to represent 85 percent for that you need to insert a curve here an arc here sorry an arc click on this arc again you need to press the shift and then draw an arc now you need to select this circle that we had created earlier and you can see its value it's 10 centimeter so the value for the arc should be smaller than 10 i think 9 point let's keep it 9.6 for height and width and let's play, place it at the center and now from these two yellow circles you can move and create an arc according to the value it's pretty easy so we need to create an arc of 85 percent so this is 75 percent and this much would be 85 percent now we need to fill the gradient color on this arc as well so click on the line then gradient again we have these four gradient stops by default we need only two gradient stops here again pick the eyedropper tool on the first gradient stop and fill yellow color then click the second gradient stop go to color icon eyedropper tool and pick the second color and we have this linear selected and we can pick this top to bottom uh, gradient here now we need to increase the width so let's keep it 15 points here but if you see here the ends are pretty straight we need a circular joints here and for that you need to change the cap type to round and the joint type to round as well now again select this go to shadow effect and add a shadows 
and you can change the shadow color to this blue accent one darker 25 percent increase the blurness and the transparency as well keep the transparency around like 80 percent and here you can see it's going outside the circle that we had created so we need to reduce its height and width so 9.2 is fine so this is our first you know uh, pie chart select all the items align center align middle like this so the first slide is done and you can delete this so this is the first slide and now you can copy the complete set of the circles and this text here and paste here now in this slide the steps are similar but we have already uh, have the components so in this slide we will learn how to reuse the components it's pretty easy first we need to format the background here and click on this gray color and now we need to change the color of this arc and for that you need to first select the first gradient stop color pick eyedropper tool and then pick the color and it's it's a coincidence that the first color is yellow so we have already filled the yellow color on the second gradient stop pick this green color and similarly you need to change the color on this text go to text options here first you need to select the text then go to text options and here you can see we have already placed the gradient the yellow color is you know the same here so we only need to click on this second green stop pick eyedropper tool and change the color and the color is now has not changed and you need to change the value it's 75 percent and now we need to add the title here and for that you need to copy this title from the first slide press ctrl c and then press ctrl v and write cost here or you can write like cost involved or incurred anything you want and delete these components so the second slide is also done so now onward the steps are same and now we will do it in a fast forward mode and you need to enjoy it and you can subscribe to our channel if you really liked it so now let's do it in a fast forward mode and then i will show you a beautiful way to animate all these slides so i'm doing it in a fast mode copy all these items paste here it's written target let's write target then here it's written 92 percent let's write 92 percent click on the arc we have these two color stops click on the first color stop pick the color click on the second stop and pick this color now select the text go to text options change the color then click the second gradient stop again pick the second color and your slide is ready one thing is left you need to format the background here now again we have already copied the items just paste it risk and it's 15 percent so this so we need to you know change the arc value as well so it's 75 percent so here it will be 75 percent and 92 will be like this 15 percent will be very small like this for 15 percent so let's increase the risk for now so that it looks beautiful at the moment but yeah 15 percent will look like this 
so let's keep it like 45 percent and now select the first select the arc and pick the eyedropper tool and then click on the second gradient stop and change the color like this and then select the text go to text options click on the first color then click on the second color and the risk is also done you need to format the background like this risk is also done sales and 85 percent is the value here now we need to keep it at 85 so let's keep it around here first you need to change the color for the arc pick the first color on the first gradient stop and then pick the second color on the second gradient stop similarly follow the steps on the color on the first gradient stop fill the first color on the second gradient stop fill the second color then format the background so sales slide is also ready now comes the last slide it's ROI click on ROI or I mean write ROI and change the percentage to 95% click on the arc let's change the color similarly change the color on the text by now you must have gotten the idea like how to you know reuse the components and design the slides so all the slides are ready now so let's write the full form here to make it look more beautiful return on investment and keep it in small fonts slightly move it upward now select all the slides like this go to transitions press morph and now let's see the magic now look at it how the color changes and it looks really beautiful the transition it's very subtle very minimal so guys this is the final output i hope you will like it and look at this beautiful transition and how it works so so if, if you if you really liked it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share and share this video with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video with some more beautiful content with some amazing ideas and tips and tricks Till then, bye-bye, enjoy, peace, and stay safe.